I think like just even just outside of LSU, like we are growing women's basketball. And I don't think even people realize that. Yes, we have LSU across our chest, but it's it's more. Yeah. It's it's way more here. Like everybody can just genuinely be themselves. Like yeah. I've never been a part of a place where I can just be myself. I'm genuinely just Angel Reese. She is Flage Johnson. Like coaches let us be ourselves. Yeah. You're the rapper off the court. She let us be who we are. So you don't see that too often. Coaches letting you just be authentic and just be you. Everything here is 100% real. Like, yeah. it's no fake, it's no gimmicks. I think that's why we are so successful because we just keep it real. Like, and I don't want to be a part of nowhere that's it's fake. This is real, genuinely real. And like, I know when I leave here, this is family. Piece it together. Piece it together. We have nine new pieces. Coaches in her second year. We got new coaches. Everything is just, we got what, four freshmen, five, tra five transfers? Is that what it is? So being able to come in and just doing what we're doing right now, I mean, it might not look good to us right now because I don't think we're satisfied, but it's, I think we're, we're, we're doing really well right now. And I don't think anybody would expect us to do that with nine new pieces. Like you don't, you don't really see that. So the maturity that we've had and grown through, things that we've been through, I think that we're, we're where we're supposed to be right now. I really feel like a dream come true. Because I remember when I didn't even have no offers, I was just hooping. And I was the best. And I wanted to play the best of the best. Now I'm playing with the best of the best. Dream come true, man. Man. First, I was like, we really met like in the summer. I was like, okay, she cool. Okay, she hooped though. <laughs> we was in practice, our first scrimmage. I mean, she was scrimmaging against the guys. She grabbing boards, going up, going up. I'm like, yo, she's a beast. So we're gonna win a natty. She's crazy. Well, <laughs> technically, I didn't I didn't think I was coming to LSU. Kateri was the one that called me to ask me about LSU and I was like, I don't know, I already have business set up. I'm like, I'm not sure. So then coach, I didn't think coach thought she could get me because I think she already thought I was going somewhere else. So when she called me, I was like, all right, I'll take a visit, I guess. And happily, she was the first visit I had set up. So I was like, all right. So when I came down here, I canceled the rest of my visits. We went to coach's house and we had seafood laid out. I'm talking about all around the table. I miss the Old Bay season. That's the only thing I do miss. But the, the crab legs, I'm talking about oysters, shrimp, crawfish, you name it, they had it. And I was like, oh yeah, I can get used to this. <laughs> I can get used to this lifestyle. So yeah, everything was, it was just, it was nice. I had my, they told me I could live in an apartment by myself. I, had, I, could, I brought my car down here. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm at home, I'm chilling. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Foreign mommy Bayou Barbie. Yes. <laughs> Bayou Barbie. The Bayou Barbie, that's me. Like when I walk down the street, that's what they call me. I just like, basically they know I love my na my lashes, my nails, my hair is always done. So that's for the Barbie Barbie part. And then of course Baton Rouge, like Baton Rouge is like my second home. I like walking to the corner store and just talking to the people outside. And like, just it just seemed like, this is just my type of environment. Like I just love everybody just so friendly around here. The community is great. Like everybody, the Southern hospitality here is just amazing. Like it's just lit, so. One of the people, uh, one of the fans just was like, you're the Bayou Barbie, and I was like, all right, so I'm gonna run with it. So I got a trademark, got on my nails, so that's just, that's what I go by now. She a gangster. I like, I, I like Flage. She a hard worker. She grind. Not too many freshmen like Flage. It's the crown of the head. I'm a rapper. It was crazy because like coming in the summer, I was so scared. Like you got Kateri Pool, like don't get it confused. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got Jasmine Carson, you got like Sharpshooter, you feel me? You got Poa, so I'm like, I'm like a freshman. Like these all, you know what I'm saying? Upperclassmen, I'm like, well, if I gotta come off the bench, I gotta come off the bench, you feel me? But I, I, I never thought I was gonna start. And I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even know what I really brought to the table until like, the first couple of games, you feel me? Because in practice, you don't know if you're doing good. I'm telling you that right now, from my perspective. I did not know if I was doing good or not. And 
Man, I see my name on that board, <laughs> on the starting lineup, bro. I was crying, I ain't gonna lie. It was like, wow, like my dreams really coming true. I used, to, I used to dream of this. I remember I came, I'm telling you, I came, Slam Classic, I came in the room with all the covers on the wall. I'm like, bro, oh my God, I want one. Yeah, that was cute. Manifestation. Feel me? God is good. That's the type of time I'm on. I'm trying to be the best of the best. And I know like if I put in the work, if I keep my head straight and I like put my head down and just achieve what I gotta achieve, I know that I could do it. It ain't no living on what I could do. Like I'm telling you, so like that's my whole goal. And I want one of these covers too. I'm gonna get the, I promise I am, watch me. So we're gonna get like real like hard magazines, like Yeah, like physical. Like we're gonna, gonna be, be on, on the, the front. People, people can buy. So we're gonna be on the front. Yes. On on the cover. On, on the cover. It's been a long journey, like being on different TV shows, like being like a kid star, like knowing people know who you are ever since a little kid. It just like kind of make you think differently about everything. But all I knew is that I wanted to grow. You know what I'm saying? Like as an artist and perfect my craft. I knew that if I get better and better and better, like they used to say, you can't do it. But I, I always knew like if I get better and better and better, in a minute they're not gonna be able to deny me. And that's why I take that same mentality to basketball. Like if I just keep putting in the work, I keep putting the work, get my reps up, get my reps up. Like one day it's gonna show and they're not gonna be able to deny me no more. So that's like the mindset I had going through everything that I did from going on a rap game to America's Got Talent to just getting my music out there. And then, What's her freshman difference? She doesn't have any, yeah. she, she's bigger than Big the folk. freshman. Nah, don't do that. She doesn't carry any bags. She sits, she has, a, she has to share a seat on the bus. That's the yeah. worst she has to do. That's terrible. Freshmen aren't, it's not like how it used to be. Nah, we don't got no freshman duties. They just be trying to enforce them. I don't force y'all freshmen to do anything. No, she trying to enforce, enforce. Like what? Rules. Rules that y'all need to follow. <laughs> that are good for, we're 23 and 0 right now. I think it's working. <laughs> but it's the free smoke tour and that's what we're on. And I don't think anybody on the team is scared of anything. Like top to bottom, I got a coach that's gonna have my back through whatever, for whatever. Assistant coaches, they with whatever. Top to bottom, our president Tate, he he with whatever. Yeah. Everybody is on the same page. So it's just like when you roll with some dogs, you you got nothing but to be so confident. And that's why they don't like LSU because we are confident. And what Flanche, what you what, what it say? What? Oh, they must take our confidence for arrogance, but we gonna pop it regardless. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah.